Yo, what's up, Swag? And you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Ken Lamar, aka L Swag. Back here with a video, man. Developing story. Colorado is leaving the Pac 12. What? <sighs> Let's check it out. Shout out to Matt B. Great. Here things get really, and I mean really dicey, between the Big 12, Colorado, and Yukon. It's being stated that Colorado won't leave the Pac-12 if it's not supported by Deion Sanders. What? Okay. Another night? Say it with me now. Another Pam Tam video. Whoa, 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 whoa. I whoa, said whoa, it wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a interesting situation that is currently unfolding between our eyes. This ain't going to be your typical primetime video. Well, it's going to be a primetime video, but not like we're going to talk about Deion Sanders. You get what I'm trying to say. Or maybe you don't get what I'm trying to say. We're not here to talk about Deion Sanders so much. We're here to talk about the developing story going on that Colorado is going to be leaving the Pac-12. Uh, yeah, you heard me correctly. I've been following this situation very, I mean, very closely over the past couple of days. And personally, that is crazy. I've been waiting to hold off to make a video on this because I don't want to be the first to report on the news. I want to be the best to I'm report in my on the eye, news. And at this point in time, I feel like I've gathered up enough information. So you might want to grab you some popcorn, grab you a snack, whatever you like to eat or drink when you watch a video. Because trust me, I do the same thing. It's going to be a good one. Now, here's the thing with this. It's not just quite as simple as, okay, Colorado's going to be leaving the Pac-12 or allegedly leaving the Pac-12. What are the repercussions of this? Because up front, just glancing at this firsthand, I don't know if this is good for Colorado and Deion Sanders, and I'll explain why in this video. I think it's safe to say we got a lot to talk about and go over. This is an ongoing story, so you might want to follow up, subscribe to the channel, join our amazing community if you want updates on the situation. And plus, if you like college football, this is a great place to be. Just ask anybody in the comment section. All right, Matt, blah, blah, I should grab up. Now, without further ado, let's get, get into it. So, there's not really a way to ease into things. We're just going to jump straight into it. Rumors have been circling the past week or so that Colorado is going to be leaving the Pac-12. When I first saw this, it was That's crazy. about five or six days ago. And I will be 100% <laughs> transparent with all of you guys. I don't lie. I mean, there's no reason for me to lie. I didn't buy it. I was like, what? Colorado leaving the Pac-12? Why would the Big 12 even want them? No disrespect, but you can take it disrespectfully if you want. Why would the Big 12 want Colorado? They suck. Or at least they used to suck. I'll elaborate on that in just a second. The first time I saw this, it just didn't make sense to me from any standpoint, no matter how you looked at it. And every day I saw the story continue to grow and grow and grow. And fast forward in time, five to six days later to May 31st. Here we are in the story. It's picking up some serious heat. It's picking up some Bro, serious heat. Fly. You know I'm saying? I don't know. Let's just roll with it. It's been all over Instagram and Twitter. I actually had a couple of you send this to me today. By the way, I greatly appreciate when you guys send me stuff, tag me stuff. It really helps on the videos, helps on the channel. Right here, trending. The Colorado Buffaloes have engaged in talks with the realignment with the Big 12 and blah, 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 blah. A bunch of big Damn. words, a bunch of complicated words. Let's dumb this down. Colorado, they've been talking with the Big 12. That was on Instagram, and a lot what? of comments, they weren't too thrilled about this idea. A lot of Big 12 fans, it seems like they don't want Colorado coming to the Big 12 just because, you know, they're not that very good. Look, I'm not here to talk about what's going to happen next year. Not yet, but they got to play the Pac-12 for a year, man. Example, you see or a season. Here. Colorado needs to win at least five games. Today. Another comment. Maybe string together consecutive seasons of going at least 500 before you think about going to a substantially harder conference. And... I do agree. The Big 12 over the past 10 years has been probably two times better than the Pac-12. A couple more. Um, no, they can't even handle the Pac-12. Bro, they weren't even a force in the Pac-12, let alone the Big 12. I could do this for days. I think you get a point. That's a good enough sample size of the comments. People, they're laughing at this. All right, yo, why would the Big 12 even get Colorado the same way I was looking at this? That was just on Instagram. Also on Twitter, I had a couple people sending me this. This is from Justin Cohen, who is reportedly a pretty reliable source. Is that true? I don't know, but we'll just read what he says. Speaking with those close to the scene, I'm told a deal for Colorado to join the Big 12 is all but done. Final details are still being discussed, but all parties are on board for the realignment. I've never even heard of this guy, but after doing a lot of more digging and a lot of more research, that is what everybody is saying. Another example right here from Aaron Torres, who is a really good source I use all the time can tell you that what Jason Shear heard is in line with what I've heard as well. Colorado and UConn are the Big 12's priority at this moment. Sounds like a strange pair, which I do agree with. I'll speak on in just a second. But there's a plan in place that will make sense if slash when it comes together. 
And as you see right here, Jason Shear tweeted out, the most smoked surrounding Big 12 as of now is UConn and Colorado. Five days ago, if I had to say what's the percentage Damn. chance of Colorado actually going to the Big 12 or joining them, I'd say about 4 5 percent. But now, with all the information <sighs> I've seen and from everything I've heard from my sources included, I'd say it's almost a done deal as well. I'd give it a 88 percent chance. At this point in time, it just seems like a win, not a if. So if you haven't heard anything about this, I have given you a long story, and I mean a very long story, very short. I think you just need to stay in the Pac-12 for right now, bro. Six days, but I gave you the major details, and really, that's all that matters. And as you can see right here, someone even posted what the new Big 12 would look like, and it just added Colorado, BYU, UCF, Houston, and UConn. And oh yeah, I also do believe Cincinnati. Yeah, 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 Cincinnati. You see him right there. With all that being said, let's address the elephant in the room, the biggest question I assume that everybody's going to have, and even I have. Why in the crap is the Big 12 going after UConn in Colorado? Of all the schools in the country, UConn and Colorado are your top two priorities? What's the reason behind that? That's weird. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you might want to buckle your seatbelt because here's where things get really, and I mean really dicey, between the Big 12, Colorado, and UConn. I've seen people stating that the Big 12 isn't as quote-unquote concerned and quote-unquote prioritizing football like they want it to come off as. The Big 12 will come out and say this is a football move, but in reality, everything I've seen, this is a basketball move. And I never Damn. looked at it from that perspective, but when I heard that, when somebody told me, yo, Matt, this is a basketball move, I then looked at this map again. I was like, oh, yeah, that makes way more sense. Because look who they're adding. Houston, one of the top basketball teams in the country. UConn, one of the top basketball teams in the country. You see where I'm going with this. Is Colorado a top basketball team? No, but it doesn't hurt the conference. But whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, here's where things get even more interesting. I feel like Deion trying to go up so he can show how really good they are. Leave the Pac-12 if it's not supported by Deion Sanders. Yeah, that's right. You heard me correctly. I'll show it to you word for word. Colorado and the Big 12 have met face-to-face -face while involved in consistent talks over a period of several months, according to multiple sources. It was made clear that a move to the Big 12 would not be made without the support of football coach Deion Sanders. What do y'all think about that? That goes to show you how powerful Deion Sanders is. The football team won't even go to the Big 12 if Deion Sanders doesn't want to. I don't know if I've ever heard of anything like that before where a team is like, you know what, we're not going to change conferences unless our football coach supports it. That just what? goes to show you how powerful and how impactful Deion Sanders is. There's a bunch of other boring stuff that I've read and there's no point of sharing, but one thing that is worth mentioning is if they join the Big 12 in 2025, they're going to get $31.7 million in media shares. Damn. That's a pretty lucrative deal if you had to ask me. Going back to the Deion thing, what he approve of this here's how i'm looking at it why wouldn't he i don't think Deion sanders is going to be too upset about leaving the pac-12 i don't even think he cares about it it's not like the big 12 is the sec it's not that type of competition yeah. we're talking about the big 12 guys remember they're losing oklahoma and texas the real question and conversation we need to have is what's next for the pac-12 they're disintegrating i guarantee you in 10 years the pac-12 it won't even be a thing and if it is a thing, it's going to be a conference with a bunch of cupcakes and nobodies. I firmly believe we're heading down the path where we're going to have three mega conferences. The SEC, the Big Ten, and the Big 12, and that's it. The ACC and Pac-12, they're going to be gone. Or maybe not gone, but they're going to be pretty much forgotten about. Nobody's going to take them seriously. Yeah. As far as it goes for the Big 12, I think if you can get UConn and Colorado, that looks like the two teams they're trying to get, That'd be some big-time pickups. UConn's trying their best to revive the football program, and this would be a step into the right direction. But if you had to ask me, I have a hard time believing this isn't I a basketball that. move as well. We'll see what happens. We'll see. If you know anything about this, feel free to inform us in the comment section or send it to me on Twitter. To be honest, I really personally feel like Dion is doing that to move up is because he really want to show that his team really liked that. I think he's tired of everybody talking about Team and saying this and that and I think he really ready. He ready to show y'all that his team really like that, bro. Like at the end of the day, I think I do the same thing, bro. And he knows that Pac-12 ain't all that. We know that too. So yeah, man, let me know down below in the comments, man. Oh, I love y'all, man. We almost at 6K. We gonna hit 10K. Let's get it, bro.